Hey YouTube, it's um, Lewis Fitch and I'm going to be doing one of my first videos actually about iPods. So the first one is going to be obviously the how to jailbreak your iPod. 2.2.1 um, firmware. Now if you're totally into this, don't know what firmware is or anything. Firmware is like a version which iTunes provides um, and jailbreak just means that you're, you can customise your iPod whereas iTunes whereas a normal iPod actually can't so you can do so many things with a jailbroken iPod um, so first what we're going to need, we're going to need two specific programs or actually software you could call it so the first one is going to be called Quick Freedom now as you can see here just about here it says there this is called Quick Freedom, I've got a link the link is um, obviously quickfreedom.com but it's in a link in my description uh, so you just click download that and it pops up and you just we need to do it's a setup so as you can see it's just a setup so you just click run you install it whatnot and then you've got it right at the bottom here there there quick freedom okay so you've got quick freedom uh, that's the thing we're going to need actually to jailbreak it, that's the main thing which you're going to need um, and then also we need which is just up there, we need quick poon or porn, whatever you want to call it uh, so that's here so you come to a page like this um, and you scrolling down, you can't find where the download thing is and you just click downloads here just at the top Okay. Okay, you scroll down and you've got this whole row here. There you go. So you've got firmware downloads. And you've got the iPhone, you've got all the different firmware. Obviously using 2.2.1 and I'm the iPod Touch 2G, so you click that and you'd save it to your desktop. So you'd do you'd save it, don't run it or open it. Save it to your desktop. Okay? So when you've done that, it should pop up here. I'll just move it along there. There. See? So it should be there. Okay? So first, let's go. So we've got our iPod, which is here. Okay? It's it's a 2G. You should trust me. People, I know people are so sad that they actually used to just use 1G iPods. But yeah, jailbroken and everything, look, you've got Slipknot logo there, it's totally different. Let's see. Okay, we've got Cydia, we'll go through that later on. Okay, so you want to plug that in, iTunes will pop up, I'm not going to go through it, I know some people do, but it should be easy enough. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on Quick Freedom simply, and there's going to be a big nice button called jailbreak and you're going to click that okay okay so you're going to come up with a page like this now you've got lib usb there okay now i'm using an xp if you haven't got it installed all you need to do is just click install lib usb but with window vista people you have to go and click um, run as administrator or run as xp when you install it i'm not sure how because i do not have a vista um, sorry about people who do use Vistas. Uh, don't rate it like two stars just because I don't know. That's just unfair seeing as I don't have one. Have a, a Vista. Anyway, it should find your original 2.2.1 firmware, which we have on the desktop somewhere. Uh, and all you need to do is just click the next button. So I click that. Then you come to a page like this. Okay, now all you're going to need to do is, is use custom boot logo or install installer. Now you're going to want to install installer. Uh, now for this custom boot logo, it's just when you load up your iTunes from turning it off. So you can change it to whatever you want or you can use a custom, just at the bottom there. Okay, and you're going to click create firmware. It says it will take 5 to 10 minutes. For my computer it took about 2 minutes. Something like that. I don't know how fast your your computers are, but anyway. So when you've when it's created, 
it will you'll see it up here it should pop up on your desktop just as custom firmware okay so when you've done that you're going to want to click next and then you'll come to a thing saying put into DFU mode and press the start pre jailbreak now you need to put your if you need help click DFU instructions then press start pre jailbreak to make your iPod turn white okay so you're just basically going to click DFU instructions okay and it says you have 15 seconds to turn off your iPod and unplug it or press down below if it is already off and unplugged okay so when it's off and unplugged click done and it says as you can see here it says plug in your iPod while holding home and the button at the same time for 10 seconds All right? and it'll do that and it says now release power which is the top one and keep holding home and you'll hear a chime you'll hear like a da -da, uh, sort of noise from your computer so you know sometimes it's slower for certain things sometimes it's not and it's done it but it says for me please connect your iPod in DFU mode that's because I'm not actually have I don't actually have it connected. Um, so when it's done that, now sometimes I have a problem with this. Sometimes I click it, it starts, and it just stops at applying patch. Now if it does that, all you need to do is do the DFU mode again. I know it's on the white screen. You'll think oh, I'm going to mess it all up. Don't worry. It'll go back into DFU mode, and all you need to do is click it again. And if iTunes pops up, don't close it yet keep it up and then you'll hear like a da -da or a certain noise telling you that it's done then you can quit iTunes okay so then when you've done that you're going to want to click this and it'll say now that your iPod screen is white open iTunes to restore your custom firmware hold shift and click restore and find the file custom firmware on your desktop so we're going to want to open up iTunes I can see my nice rocket dock here for the XP or whatever. Like a Mac, not bad. Um, one of my video have how to do that. Just go and find one of my videos of how to do rocket dock and whatever. Anyway, enough of me advertising myself. Um, so come on to a thing like this, your iTunes obviously. Hope you're familiar with this. If you're not, you need serious help. Uh, so you'll come to your iPod will pop up here and it'll have the restore button just shift and click and then go to your desktop bit in here and click on custom firmware and then click open and then it will act as if it's doing a restore or something and then it will come up with your boot logo and just leave it seriously guys just leave it until it pops up again and it will say you know, this is a new iPod save it as new iPod or as your backup or something like that. Do not do it as backup, do it as a new iPod and then sync all your songs back onto it and it all should be done. Now in my next video I'm going to show you what Cydia is, what it's used for, an installer also and Winterboard because when you first get it you're like I've done it, now what do I do? I'll show you how to do all of that. Um, it'll be called probably Cydia Installer and um, Winterboard tutorial okay so i'll see you guys later in the next video i make for my ipod see ya